today I'll be showing you guys how to make a game in 10 minutes using Godot. So now we are in the project manager of Godot. Here is where we are going to store all our projects. We are now going to create a new project and you can name it whatever you want. I'll name mine game platformer. Then you click create folder. Shortly we'll be in the editor. One of the things I like about Godot is that it's very fast and capable of making amazing looking games. So firstly, we'll make a 2D node as our world. So we'll click 2D scene. I'll double click and name it world. Now we need a player. So click on the plus sign and type in kinematic body 2D. You don't have to type the whole thing. It will just pop up. So I'll name this player. So then we'll add a collision shape 2D. What this is, is that it makes us collide with the world. So make sure you select the player. So make sure you select the player because we're going to add something else. We'll add an animated sprite. So now it's at the wrong order. We have to move the animated sprite over the collision shape so we can see it. Let's press Ctrl S or Command S. We'll name it world. Then we need to add in some art. I have an art pack link, link in the description where you can download the art pack. This art is from Kenny.nl. I love this store, go check them out. In the beginning, we created a folder. Find that folder and add the art pack to that folder. So now we have some art. Now let's click on the file system and look for the player sprite. Select the player images, go to import, click on the preset and select 2D pixel. Then click re-import. What this will do is that it'll make sure that the images are not anti-aliased or blurred since it's pixel art. So next, we will select the animated sprite and go to frames. Then click on the new sprite frames. Then click on it again and head to the default animation. We can change this name to idle. Then click this add button and add a new animation called run. So let's find the new player sprite. Then then add both of the sprites onto the run animation then add sprite 01 frame first then followed by sprite 00 then we'll set it to 5.5 .5 sps that's a pretty good speed then select the collision shape 2d and go to shape then new capsule shape 2d you don't you don't want a rectangle since it'll clip onto stairs and it won't feel natural as well so make sure it fits and save our scene now I'll click new script this is where you will write your code so let's leave how everything is and press create we don't need all this stuff so we're just gonna clear this out now we will add variables a variable is a pack is like a package which stores information so for example to set a variable write var velocity equals to 100 so velocity is a package and it stores the value 100 which is the speed of our character then we need var direction equals to vector 2 0 0 in brackets vector 2 is the movement of our player on the x and y axes so now type func physics process delta this is where we write our main functions of the player let's save and type pass since we haven't wrote anything yet then click project project settings then input map so we want to add controls so we need right click on the plus sign left and we also need jump now that there's inputs we we'll remove this pass method and we type in input dot is action pressed right like this then direction is velocity we are getting an error or there needs to be an if so if right is pressed go by velocity same for the other direction but now it's left and the direction is minus velocity else direction is zero which means when nothing is pressed we are not moving then direction is move and slide direction vector 2 dot up this is what makes us move without this the player won't move and the vector 2 is telling godot that this the ceiling is up and so that the opposite direction is down which is the floor now let's run our code by clicking the play button on the top right of our screen this means we have to choose a scene we'll choose wall.tscn okay now we have an error, invalid type in function move and slide. Or this means that the x and y axis in our direction variable since it's a vector 2. So a vector 2 is assigned to an integer. So where have I done that? Oh, so we need to type direction.x is velocity. Oh, that makes sense. So direction.x is minus velocity and direction.x is 0. So let's run our game once more. So the code is working. We just need to actually assign the keys in our input map so we go back to project project settings and click input map now we need to click on the plus icon and click key now we press any key to be right i'll press the right arrow key then i'll add a new one and click d 
and click D on, our, on my keyboard for WSD gamers. Keep on doing this. Now left is A and the left arrow key while jump is space or up arrow key. Now we'll run our code again. Yeah, it's working. The player is too small and it's at the top left of the screen. To fix this, we'll go back and move our player to the middle. Our collision shape is moving freely. So we must go and select the player node and click the make sure the objects children are not selectable button. Now the problem is solved. Now let's go to project, project settings and scroll down to window. Now we write 460 as our width and the height is 270. Now put the test sizes to be 1280 and 720. And finally set the stretch mode to 2D. Now we run our scene and it's working. Now let's add the art because right now it does not look good at all. So let's go back to our script and type in on ready var spr is dollar sign animated sprite. The dollar sign makes us access the node on the scene. So now it's spr dot play run in brackets and quotation marks. Copy that and on the last one and you put idle spr dot flip h is true which means that the sprite will flip horizontally making it face right. Flip h is false for the left. So now we have an animated walk and the animation flips as we change direction. So now type var gravity equals to 100 and go down and make some space and write velocity dot y is max. Let's write variable which is g acceleration or g ac. So now we put velocity plus g ac. We need min actually. So what does this mean? There are two amounts the velocity dot y and gravity. Gravity is 100 and velocity dot y is 0. So it picks the lowest possible value. So here is velocity which is the smallest the velocity plus g acceleration which is 5 still the smallest then plus g f again it keeps on adding 5 to the velocity dot y until you reach a point where velocity dot y is 105 it will choose the gravity since now it's the lowest value pretty cool so now let's click on 2d and make sure the world node is selected now we need time up I'll name it platform. Let's go to tileset and click new tileset. Click again on tileset. Drag and drop the tilespacked.png. Then click on it. Click import and on preset select 2D pixel. Then click re-import. We zoom by holding the control and scrolling. Or you can press the buttons at the top right. Now we click on the new auto tile. Now click on the top left grass tile and as you click, hold down the mouse anywhere. It does not matter for now or you can follow as I did. Go to snap options and make sure the step is set to 18 by 18. Then go to selected tile and change the auto tile bit mask mode to 3 by 3 minimum. On the sub tile size, it should be 18 by 18. Now go ahead and click and hold all the way down to number 9. Now we'll go to collision, click on the first grass tile and click on create new rectangle then go to the next tile and double click go to the rectangle button double click the next tile you don't have to do this for every single tile you just you just do this just for the ones i do so these are all we need now i go to big mask and click here down the middle this means that this tile is placed when there are no other tiles surrounding it now same for the next ones this means that the, if there is a tile below us, place this. Now we scroll down and fill this in like this. Let's go back to the collision and add some collisions to these four tiles since we need them. Now I go to bitmask and fill this like this. So bitmasks are used to tell the game how to place tiles. Now we go to icon and click this. Now let's click on button and at the bottom right to minimize and click on platform then then click on the tile map or platform in my case then go to cell then set everything that is 64 by 64 to 18 by 18 now all we need to do is now fill this in like usual something weird is happening there's a line everywhere and the icon makes things look weird but let's go back and maximize the window now click on the right arrow to edit the tile set go to icon and set this one then go to bitmask 
and remove these oil tiles. Now something you should keep in mind is that these assets do not have corner edges in this situation. So no problem since we just add more tiles which will fix the problem. So I'm going to fill this in and make our level. Now let's run our scene and boom it's working. Now this is the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Comment down below if you want a part 2 and click here if you want to learn more.